Oh, little kitty, can you locate Spain on that globe? Where is it? Well, I know it is very difficult to locate a place on the map. But what if I tell you that there is a trick to it? Trick? Yes. So in today's episode, let me answer this tricky question. What are latitude and longitude? Zoom in! Envision our world as a three-dimensional ball and latitudes are imaginary lines carved on it that run from west to east parallel to the longest latitude we call the equator. This is the line that divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. Latitudes measure the distance in degrees, starting with the equator at zero degree, that go up in number from 1 to 90 degrees all the way to the North Pole. On the other hand, the latitude going down the equator is marked in negative numbers until they reach the South Pole, which is numbered as minus 90 degrees. Along with the equator, the other important latitudes are the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle, which helps to define different climate zones of the world based on the amount of sunlight a region receives throughout the year. Yes, the region between the tropical lines gets the most sunlight and is known as the tropical zone, where the climate is generally warm and humid along with heavy rainfall in most places. On the other hand, the region between the tropics and polar circles is called the temperate zone, which has all four seasons in it. And lastly, we have regions beyond polar circles known as the polar zone, where the climate is wintry and snowy due to lack of sunlight. Now, let's look into other imaginary lines we call longitude that starts from the top pole and move apart at the equator just to meet again on the other pole at the bottom. The line stretching at the center is called the prime meridian, which divides the Earth into western and eastern hemispheres. Like the equator, even this line is marked at zero degrees, which goes up in number to 180 towards the east. Whereas to the west, it is denoted with negative numbers up to minus 180 degrees. These lines help in determining the time zone around the globe because, as we know, when it's night in one hemisphere, it's daytime on the other part and vice versa. The zero-degree longitude that passes through Greenwich near London is considered a standard and all the time of all other zones are calculated accordingly. How? Let me explain. You see, to tell the time difference between two places, all you need to do is count the number of longitude degrees between them and every degree is a 4 minutes difference. So, if it is 12 noon at Greenwich, which is at 0 degrees, then it will be 12.04 pm at 1 degree meridian and so on. But the vital question is, how do these lines help us locate a place on the map? Well, the latitude and longitude position of any location in the world is known as its coordinates. Here the latitude is shown first, followed by the longitude. So, if you have been asked to find a place with the coordinates of 20 degrees and 78 degrees, then, just look at the latitude at 20 degrees and longitude of 78 degrees and examine where these lines cross to determine the exact place. 
which in this case is India. Isn't it easy, my friends? Trivia time! Did you know there are 180 latitudes in total? Yes, whereas 360 longitudes around the Earth. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.